Hi, my dear YouTube fragrance friends. How are you doing today? How is your day like in the place that you are? And what uh, what things your perfumes are bringing to you? Do they bring you happiness, or do they? Are you thinking to you know expand your collection? Uh, are you getting compliments? Are you actually complimenting yourself in those perfumes? My type of topic of the day is is guys second part of Middle Eastern perfumes that uh, I am exploring uh, from the man's type of perfumes or Middle Eastern perfumes that would be suitable for males, you know, because very often, let's say, like girls are, you know, easy for them to buy perfumes, but sometimes, like if you are a man, uh, it can be not easy to, to you know, to, to know which Middle Eastern perfumes are the best. So, will be Latafa perfume, Ardell Zafran perfume, and uh, Alriha perfume, guys. Uh, I want to tell you that very soon I will unbox this perfume, it's designer perfume from Emporio Armani, you know, because will be no, it's actually stronger with you it's for man so keep you know keep in touch with my youtube channel so i i can show you you know what this this perfume is about guys it's expensive uh, you know um, it's not expensive but around 50 euro so anyway so uh, i want to show you as well one thing from my first part guys that i did uh, i chose these two perfumes that uh, were the best type of from middle eastern in middle eastern brand you know so let's say badi al oud is one of them and then this one is dirham gold by ardal zafran so this one is a spicy comfortable cozy uh, extremely unique blend of spiciness uh, not overpowering and uh, very nice to wear and this one is freshness with spiciness glassy suitable for work uh, not overpowering westernized you know westernized uh, maybe a little bit more interesting than aqua di geo but also simple as well like not to not one of the best ones you know you have probably seen something like smelled something like that before somewhere you know but uh, actually the price of this one is mm, would be much better you know the price is very good so i would say from my that first part that i reviewed this perfume is the winner so far uh, it's in total 14 perfumes you know that i'm reviewing you know in terms of which uh, perfumes man could wear so let's continue with that list guys I'm gonna just sip guys like a little bit of tea uh, I will say to you guys cheers and uh, we will continue guys so one of the perfumes one of the one of the perfumes guys that I got first before is uh, Ijazi Ijazi guys draw draws draws like a lot of interest you know from other people like especially um, you know that that's a man's perfume but on Amazon it will say that it's kind of unisex which is not true somebody showed me that it's right here is written in Arabic that it's for man you know so it's probably clearly written there for you isn't it it's for man like I didn't know that so but you know I was trying to discover this perfume guys and I was wearing it I was wearing it it's clearly manly scent guys clearly manly scent it's by Latafa Ijazi okay and this perfume guys has a beautiful bottle it reminds me some kind of like a niche bottle like Gillian's bottle and uh, you know people are very interested about this perfume some people hate it some people like it this perfume is spicy like probably one of the spiciest type of perfumes that I have right here guys it's, it's like it's one of the spiciest perfume but also it has ambroxan too which gives this type of uh, sharp freshness in a way mm -hmm. manly perfume manly perfume guys really manly perfume but guess what I was wearing myself sometimes whenever i want to as you can see the cap broke you know the cap broke so it's very common thing when i want to feel grounded you know grounded uh, this perfume guys can be for you but for the lady you will not smell feminine with this perfume guys you will just smell somewhat manly with this perfume but if you are a man uh, if you get it you will experience this blast of sharp uh, 
spiciness, a little bit aquatic, but not in aqua di Gio way. It's more aquatic in this type of uh, sharp, spicy way. Uh, you know, I think I would recommend, guys, for men to give it a go with this perfume. I would recommend. I think you will be wearing it. Maybe, let's say, this... Um, Maybe let's say this dirham gold guys is uh, more versatile than this one to be honest. Uh, more versatile, you know. Um, this one is a bit spicy. Before guys, I already reviewed this one. It's Latafa Naja. So this one is more fresh than Nijazi, okay? It's more fresh. Naja is more fresh than Nijazi. 100% more fresh. But also it's super simple, like a little bit uh, lacking in character, you know? Mm -hmm. But this one, guys, has that type of character. And then, guys, before I also reviewed Velvetude, I said that it's like a, a you know, manly type of leather scent. I compared it to Latafa, Latafa leather, and I said that Latafa leather is feminine, but this one is masculine. So that's what I said before. You should guys check it out that first, uh, you know, first line of the perfumes that I was talking about. So, yes, guys, I do recommend you guys to, to give it a go to this perfume. You know, just to have it, just to have it, uh, you will feel, you will smell this type of spicy, sharp, you know, mm, which sometimes you might want to smell if you, if you want to experience that. Uh, some, I think uh, there exists perhaps some fake versions of this perfume. Sometimes, you know, uh, my subscribers like say that uh, they they think their perfume of Ijazi is not smelling as strong. It doesn't last long, you know. They say, but my perfume lasts really long. And I could, like I said, they um, ask very often, um, ask what's the batch number? What's the, I can see that expiry date is uh, in um, 2025. It's made in 2020. You know, I don't know what's that batch number. Would that help you guys? I don't know. You can have a look around. So my batch number ends with 020. Three ending numbers, you know. 020, my batch number. Um, so then, then we go with another one, guys. We go with another one. I was wearing this one, you know, yesterday, guys. This perfume is worth having. having. It's uh, unique. It uh, has... It has some similarity to this, but only because I think of lavender. Apart from that, there is nothing in common, I think. I do prefer Badial Oud, you know, than this. Uh, this one is due to Tom Ford. Tom Ford, so Oud 24 Hours by Ardal Safran, guys. not my favorite perfume guys but I, I i am happy to have it like it's unisex both can wear it but i'm thinking now if man would be wearing this one this type of ylang ylang smell that is there you know or whatever kind of slightly leaning towards feminine little bit you know Mm, but some people get a lot of compliments, you know, with this perfume, that's what I hear. So, like, let's say, like, for example, this one by Artel Zafran, guys, is more uh, masculine than this one. But this one has a very interesting blend of notes that are floral. It's less spicy, less spicy, you know, it's more sweet. So, if you want sweet perfume, a little bit on the sweeter side, but not super sweet, you can go with that one. But if you want simple, classic, like safe, safe type of blind buy, then go with that one, you know. Let's say if I compare, guys, these two, like this one is much, it's kind of better than this, you know. But this one is interesting as well. And then if I, let's say... I don't know, guys, if I would compare with these two. So this one doesn't have that sharpness and pepperiness that Ijazi has. Ijazi has the type, you know, the type of sharpness and pepperiness. But this one has some kind of interesting, like, like essential oils blend, you know. Like, you could compare, like, they mix Ylang Ylang, like, probably lavender. I forgot what else did they mix there, you know. And it smells kind of uh, floral, on the floral side. 
so what about guys if I will put it back right now and we will continue with another perfume so do i recommend you this one number one thing guys is that this one is extremely popular perfume it's extremely popular perfume guys um super popular so maybe for that reason you should try and see how you go it's dupe to tom ford black orchid that's what i heard and then guys what about if we go to amir al oud amir al oud Amir al Oud, I bought it, it's from Fragrance World, you know, brand. I mixed it up, guys, I mixed it up. Um, because I was just, you know, discovering, guys, and I mixed up these two brands, you know, that one is for, from Latafa, and that one is from Fragrance World, guys, so there are two Amir al Ouds, but this one is VAP, it's from Fragrance World. So let's say, let's say, guys, Let's say with the oh, wow, guys. Even when you open the box, it's already already you get this blast of unusual smell. This perfume, you know, you can consider it's a little bit intense, to be honest. Like, you know, um, I will show you. I will show you right now. Amir al Oud, guys. Amir al Oud perfume. So basically, Amir al Oud, uh, special edition, and this sign means it's by the, by the fragrance world. And I want to tell you guys, that's my first perfume from fragrance world that I ever ever had. And I want to tell you as well that um, I think that this perfume is a bit too strong. Like, I wear it once in a month, uh, if I be honest to you. If you like extremely strong perfumes, like, you can try it. This perfume doesn't remind me of any other Middle Eastern perfume that I have here. But it reminds me of one of those Amor Amor, one of the Amor Amor, you know. I can't remember, is it the white one? Is it the green one? Is it Eden? Something there is that I cannot put my finger on. And there is coffee, probably there might be some kind of coffee or chocolate, there's some kind of coffee, coffee, chocolate, whatever. Coffee, chocolate mixed with some kind of strong oud, you know, that that there is that sweetness, but that type of oud, like, just, like, overpowers everything. I wear this, as I said before, once in a month on Sunday, on Sunday, on Sunday I wear it. So... Um, not a safe blind buy, not a safe, but that's a very adventurous one, you know. It's really possible that this perfume would stand on your shelf maybe a bit further, uh, but you will always know that this perfume has extreme character. You possibly will not get a lot of compliments with this perfume, uh, you know, uh, you, you will not get it. Uh, not very suitable for your workplace unless you spray one spray it's pretty sharp to be honest but I will never say that this perfume is bad perfume because this perfume has a extreme character guys um, only for adventurous people you know I would say guys this perfume is unisex at the end um, if a man would be wearing this perfume that would be interesting you know interesting that would be very unusual, you know. Mm. It's not like you will stand out, but you will be kind of noticed in a way that is might be a bit strange, you know. Depends. Depends on how many sprays you spray. Depends on what type of vibe you have in general, you know. Depends, like, how is this, like... Hmm, maybe it's more suitable, guys, for Middle East and Eastern countries, this perfume. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anybody, like, let's say, in Europe would wear this perfume as often, you know, maybe. Anyway, let me know if you have this perfume, guys. Let me know. Well, from what I see right now, guys, I will have to end this video and I will have to start another one because I still have, like, maybe six perfumes and the, uh, the time is already kind of up for me. So from this perfume that I said, guys, which one is the best? Which one? Maybe I'm thinking from this from these lines, like maybe guys go with these two, you know. 
on the sweeter floral side more to the towards femininity and this one is a uh, towards masculinity you know masculinity type of perfume sharp spicy so maybe go with these two, with these two but as i said before guys i think that this one is the winner from all of them you know so i'm gonna finish my video let me know guys what do you think what are you uh, like concerned about any of these perfumes like uh, do they bring you compliments or are you thinking to buy any of them i will be back to you very soon and bye bye guys see you soon